Ladies and gentlemen, our applause for WPA International Congress! Little Joseph changed today. His eyes have grown so cold. His teacher is so much happier now. Joseph does what he is told. He seemed unruly and depressed. We couldn't just let him run out of control. Mittel seven found uh, officially under the Nazis, but only by Cosmos. When when Adolf Hitler said. Um, we get a bad reputation in society, stop the killing. Psychiatrists in Germany at that time, they tripled the killing. They killed 300,000 oh, mental patients. And what the, one of the important bases is, Wundt who said there is no God, there is uh -oh. no spirit. Which is one very dangerous uh, okay. groundwork and fundamentals. Uh -huh. He continued the same theory. He said it's biological and it's the genes. He also said he was not talking about the spirit. And this theory is important today uh -huh. right. because yeah. if we talk about chemical yeah. imbalance, we may have all the things on the image. very important. Last year in Madrid, I was talking to Professor Roos, the past president of the WPA. I asked him if he knew of psychiatrist Leon Eisenberg, considered the father of attention deficit hyperactive disorder, ADHD, because of his extensive studies in it. Professor Roos said he was a friend of Dr. Eisenberg and he discussed how before his death in 2009, Dr. Eisenberg had admitted that ADHD is a prime example of a false disease. I said that few psychiatrists seem to be aware of this admission or that ADHD is not a medically verifiable condition and that it was voted by members of the American Psychiatric Association to be included as a disorder in their Diagnostical Manual 1987. Within a year, 500,000 American children were suddenly diagnosed with ADHD. Today there are more than 6 million children diagnosed with this in the US with 4.3 million prescribed stimulants. 70% of the psychiatrists that determined which mental disorder were to be included in the Diagnostical Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders, or DSM-5, received money from pharmaceutical companies. It is not the case that more people or children today suffer from mental illnesses than in the past. It is the number of the invented disorders, now more than 370, that are increasing because of financial interest and unethical psychiatrist or other unethical doctors. Too many people are crying out for answers Too many people have been led astray Too many cripples made out of dancers We can't go on letting people treat any more people this way